Hey everybody, today I'm going to be removing the cylinders from the engine that, uh, that we tore down in the last video. And the first thing you have to do is you have to remove the, uh, the bolt that's underneath the cylinders as I am doing here. And then you have to remove the acorn nut on the back of the cylinders that hold the cam chain adjuster in. And then you pull the cam chain adjuster, pull the chain out, and then pull the uh, cam chain adjuster out of there. There's two pieces. There's this one uh, front portion of the adjuster, and then the back portion has a, uh, a threaded stud that goes through the cylinders to the back where the acorn nut is uh, screwed on. There's the stud there, goes through the back of the cylinder walls, or the cylinder assembly. And I always put the acorn nut back on there again so I don't lose it. And I know exactly which one goes back on there again in case it has to be replaced. At that point, uh, the cylinders are pretty much ready to pull off of there, but sometimes they need a little help uh, to get off. So I just get a, um, a rubber mallet, as I'm showing here, very lightweight. I just very gently tap both sides, and you can see the cylinders starting to lift up a little bit. So I just keep going back and forth because you got to get them started up the, the, uh, the studs there. And when, that, when it's all the way down, it's a little, a little tough to get it started. But you just have to kind of work around, all the way around, until it's up about an inch or so. And then, that, and then at that point, you can grab it and rock it back and forth and pull it up. <clears throat> so I'm just going around and tapping on both sides and all the way around. You can see it start to lift up there. And as I'm tapping it, I'm kind of lifting up with my other hand to try to get it to go up evenly. That's the secret, is that it has to go up evenly, otherwise it binds up. So that's why you have to kind of rock it back and forth with the, uh, with the mallet. Again, you just do it lightly because you don't want to break the fins like somebody else did, obviously, on this engine. And then at, at some point, it's ready. You can grab it on both ends and just kind of rock it up the studs. And that's it. Now, looking at these pistons, I honestly don't think we're going to be able to reuse them. Every one of them are scored up. And just like the cam, there, there's a lot of deep gouges and scores in them, which tells me the engine was run hot at some point in its life, which isn't unusual for these air-cooled engines. You know, people sit in traffic and they get hot and I, I mean the inside of this engine is very clean but but honestly these pistons are I, I mean I wouldn't you I wouldn't reuse them unfortunately. Some are better than others. But if you're gonna replace any of them, you really should replace them all. I mean, yeah, you could reuse them with no problem, but if they're scored up like this, I, I just wouldn't use them. You know, if they're scored like this, then chances are they won't even mic out properly. They, they probably have some wear on them. And then that's when you get piston slap where 
they kind of wiggle back and forth and slap on the on the uh, cylinder walls but like this one is really scored up badly now down inside the engine it looks very very clean looks brand new under there so I'm not gonna split these cases I, I'm pretty sure that the bottom end on this bike is in really good shape I will replace the cam chain but inside there it looks really nice and clean so that's a good thing we don't have split the cases on this one to show you the difference between a brand new piston and one that's scored up uh, there's just no comparison i mean here are the score marks on the on the old piston and on the new one, it's perfect. It's beautiful. And I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but the new ones have uh, kind of casting marks in them, or not casting, but forge markings on them, which again is kind of a way to tell how the wear is on pistons when those when those lines when those forging lines are gone you know they're the pistons pretty much worn I don't think the camera's picking it up but they're very very fine horizontal forging lines you know where the where the uh, where they cut it out of the aluminum and you don't see that at all on these. So the cylinders look really great. They, they all have the original factory cross hatching in them. And again, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but every one of these cylinders have the original cross hatch marks in them. And that's what you want to see because then it indicates that there's no wear on the cylinders at all. So that's good. The bike was well lubricated in its life. Again, I don't think the camera's picking these up, but anybody who knows what I'm talking about knows what the, the cross hatchings are. And every one of these cylinders have the cross hatch marks in them. So I think a nice honing out. So that's going to be it for this short video this time. But I just wanted to uh, remind you to please uh, support this channel by hitting the subscribe button. And then after you hit that, if you want to be notified of future videos, hit the bell there next to the subscribe button. So I really appreciate it and I'll see you next time. Thanks.